looking at the wall riding issue in Hot Wheels Unleashed. Um, now, I don't think the wall riding's all that bad in this game. And the reason I say that is because you do get slowed down. And secondly, you can crash. Thirdly, this is an arcade racing game. This is not a simulated racing game. I don't like wall riding at all. I, I think wall riding is, is awful. I think it's a horrible exploit that people do. But this is also an arcade racing game. If, a, if wall riding was a problem in a racing game that was full simulated driving, then I 100% agree wall riding needs to be fixed, whatever. But in this, it's not as big as a problem because you do get slowed down. And I'm going to show you guys my best lap time. Okay, that little ghost car is my best lap time. We're going to try to beat that ghost car. Now I'm going to try my best to drive like an imbecile because I don't wall ride myself. I drive normally. And we're doing this like Forza, okay? We're going to hit the outside wall and we're just going to hold the gas and ride the corner. Okay? Like they do in Forza because people were comparing this to Forza. Okay, so we got 1 minute and 53 seconds. I was pretty close. Okay, my last lap time was 1 minute and 50 seconds. I don't know why that's reset. That should have not have happened. Okay, so we're going to do that again. <laughs> I had 1 minute and 50 seconds. I don't know why it just gave 1 minute and 53 seconds the best lap time. That should not have happened. Well, alright, so if, if that's going to be... Oh, there it is. One... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the best lap time for this... Sorry, for my last run was 1 minute and 53 seconds, okay? I still didn't beat my best lap time, Ghost, which was 150. Okay, so... Sorry about that. It did not reset. I did not beat my lap time. I'm sorry. That was just my best time for my first run. So now we're going to race against my first run okay the minute and 52 seconds i'm gonna be driving normally now i do tap the wall okay like that it looks like i slightly wall ride but i promise you i'm not trying to do it intentionally i'm not intentionally doing it i'm not the best at driving this fucking car rdo2 is really fast and its handling is is little weird it's currently the most overpowered car in the game it's extremely fast See, that's a tap, that's a tap. Me being stupid, boosting in the corners. You're not supposed to boost in the corners, you're supposed to boost out of corners. Look at that. 
Look at that. One minute and 48 seconds. Not only did I beat my wall riding lap record, I beat my previous lap record that could not beat my wall riding record. So, we're going to do this again and I'm going to see if I can beat 148. Now, I know I can't come anywhere near the world record lap record on this track. Uh, I don't care. I'm just doing my my time. I'm not going to try to race the other time. So, 148 is what we're going to try to beat. And it's going to be tough because that run wasn't... Uh, I mean, that run was pretty solid, but... Personally, I feel like I could have done better. I feel like I fucked up a few times. So we're gonna we're gonna give this the best run I can give. Oh, that was bad. Stalled my car there. Ooh, no, that's not good. This is worse than the last run. Alright, so yeah, that was a really bad run, but you know what, that last run I did, that one I raced normally, I wasn't intentionally wall riding, I was trying to drive normally, and I still beat both my previous lap time, which was 1 minute and 50 seconds, and my wall riding lap time. So this should be enough proof that wall riding does not make you any faster. I get some of the cars handled differently in the game or whatever and there's different tracks and different scenarios. But if I forcibly throw my car up against the wall and hit the boost, it does not make me a faster car or a faster it does not give it doesn't make me a faster driver. Wall riding in this game is not as a big problem as some people are saying it is. You do get slowed down. It doesn't make you any better. So, this should be enough proof to debunk this whole wall riding in Hot Wheels Unleashed as a problem thing. It is, it's not. It's really not. I've raced online with some people who can't drive, and I've smoked them. Um, you know, it, it's just how... It, this, this game is an arcade racing game. It's not a sim game, okay? It's not a simulated racing game. And if people are intentionally riding the walls, they get slowed down. I don't see anybody th giving out that evidence other than what I just did, where I threw my car into the wall, boosted, held my car there without boosting as well. I get slowed down. I think I just set a new lap time. I could be wrong. Let's restart and see.
Oh, yeah, look at that. Best lap time. Look at that. I beat another lap time. So this is my newest lap time. My fastest lap time. 1 minute and 48 seconds. Alright. So that's all I got about the wall riding in this game. I think I proved enough to show you guys that the wall riding is not a problem in Hot Wheels Unleashed. I think a lot of people are over exaggerating and I think people are taking things out of con out of context and I think people are trying to compare this to Forza. It is not a fucking simulator. It is an arcade racer game. Honestly, and it, look, you can beat people who wall ride. Get good. God, bro. <laughs> this is the fastest car in the game. And I just debunked the wall riding. It's not a problem in this game. Get good. For those of you who enjoyed this video and liked that I debunked this whole issue, quote, air quotes, okay? Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying the video. Leave a like and subscribe. I will see you guys later. And if you guys want to argue with me in the comments, go ahead. I don't care. Um, adios.